I'm Julian. Hayley, I'm back. Um, we walked on the photographs last night, but it's uh, not quite as we uh, hoped, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to talk about road trips and um, go to the US, storm chasing in the passing. Um, uh, and motivations and experience for uh, using Osman Plus, which is an application uh, on Android. Um, the USA is a big country. Uh, if you go there, you want to get around the place. Um, in the past, we have used uh, a proprietary Windows application, uh, which has become unreliable. And we wanted to go there the open source route. And we wanted it to be portable, we wanted it to work. Um, and now we go there, we love travel, we love geology, we love photography, um, we love our gadgets, we've got rid of our gadgets. Um, and yeah, I'm all proceed on. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Um, in the past, oh sorry, I'm sort of using gratuitous uh, pretty pictures. We go there because we like the scenery, <coughs> we like pretty pictures, we like the landscape, um, and we like uh, looking at uh, dramatic things which you don't see uh, anywhere near Glasgow. Um, so apologies for the gratuitous um, um, uh, holiday slides, but um, in the past we have used an application from Delorme called Topo North America, a uh, very good Windows XP, Windows uh, application, um, that worked very well. My previous laptop had a physical serial port and I could connect up my trusty Delorme, uh, sorry, Garmin, uh, uh, 16G uh, CSX, uh, serial data uh, out of the back of that uh, into the back of the laptop and in virtual box map the serial port uh, physical serial port into the virtual serial port for the Windows XP VM and that was terrific um, it just worked, it gives you topographic maps, 3D uh, views um, terrain, routing, etc. Uh, for the whole of the US. Um, however, we've moved on, technology has moved on, that laptop has been retired. Uh, we still take this with us, but we wanted to use uh, a Windows 7 laptop, Ireland's uh, portable one. We found that the application Lens caps off later. Um, <laughs> we found that although the Top of North America application would run, it would regularly blue screen on us, um, just at some critical bit where you're coming up to some interesting junction in the middle of nowhere, and you don't want to um, uh, take a wrong turn, especially in this sort of terrain. Um, we've actually got another photograph which we're not showing of cyclists going down that um, uh, rather than me, I think. Um, so we needed an alternative. The Top Home North America um, worked very well, uh, but it was great um, only now really for sort of planning where you want to go, um, strategic navigation, as I refer to. Actually, when you're actually out on the road and you're trying to find your way around the place, the, it didn't actually work. So we needed an alternative, uh, and the. The solution that we found was one bit. Sorry, <laughs> that's, the, that's not the tablet. That's the baby mic. So we now have a Bosman Plus on tablet. This is actually showing a nice bit of Berlin, one of the best map cities in uh, that I've ever come across. Four pounds ninety-nine from Google uh, Play. And we 
think it's pretty good value for money, given that the data, uh, once you've bought the application, uh, is free. You can update it as often as the data gets updated. Um, you can get free Osmand without the plus, but you're limited to 10 area downloads, and once you've downloaded those areas, I don't think you can refresh. Uh, so we're going for the expensive paid option. Um, the chap of the horse was uh, a native, uh, a local, um, just there and making money from the tourists. Um, <laughs> you know, you've got the horse, you've got the scenery, why not? Um, the data in the US is divided up into states and it varies in size. Um, Wyoming, small state in data terms, is around about 35 megabytes. Texas, much, much bigger, um, uh, 215, yeah. Um, the data gets updated roughly every two to three weeks, so you, the application will allow you to refresh the data uh, on your uh, tablet, on your phone. Um, and the beauty is that you don't need to have a data connection, a 3G connection. Everything is completely autonomous inside the box. Although when we go, we get a local SIM so we can get um, data on the road, we actually don't need it to actually do, to do navigation. It's, uh, it's completely um, baked in in the, um, in the application. So, before you go, knowing that you have a two to three week cycle time for the data refreshes, if you know you're going to a particular area and you've checked the map and it's not particularly well mapped or it's not mapped as well as you want it to be, then fix it before you go. Um, certainly we add in the hotels that we know we want to stay in. Uh, the national parks of course are all in. But anything that is of interest to you, uh, refresh it, fix it before you go, and then don't rely on your local 3G SIM to actually download it for, um, for the first time when you get there, um, given that you can have multi uh, gigabytes of data on your device, then you want to do it at home over your uh, home Wi-Fi before you go. So. What's not? Oh, I should say, ah, uh -huh. it runs all wrong. Sorry about that. Um, I should say that Aloysius here has his own um, uh, photo album uh, Aloysius in Yellowstone, Aloysius in uh, Monument Valley, etc. Um, the favourites within the application uh, are effectively a single level of folder, uh, so you can create. Um, a USA folder, you can create a work folder, you can create a friends folder, you can, you can subcategorize them. And it would be nice if you could create a hierarchy and uh, uh, do that. So this is all kind of, um, the font's changed, it's not quite uh, rendering correctly. Um, by the way, that's one of the salt flats, uh, which I have to say, Osmand is not particularly good for because there's not many roads out there. Um, it's interesting, you go to the end of the raceway and you look back to the start um, and you look at the path, people you've driven past and you can't see them um, because you're 10 miles away and the curvature of the earth is such that they're actually over the horizon. Um, also, it's pretty hot as you imagine. Um, so, um, as I've said, you can't, uh, sorry, you can't suppress and display groups of favourites. You could get around the, the problem with the, the, the hierarchy thing if you uh, more easily could uh, suppress and display uh, groups of favourites. I, I only want to see the motels, I only want to see the you know, national parks and so on. Um, you can get contour data. Uh, NASA, back at the end of the 90s, I think it was, flew a mission with the shuttle called the Shuttle Radar Tomography Mission and they mapped the whole of the world uh, between 60 north and 60 north south 
and they make that data available for free. That data has been turned into contour lines which you can download um, and use within the Osman application, assuming you install the relevant plugin into the application. Um, obviously, it's not strictly required for, for routing, um, but certainly it gives you a feel for where you are and what you're seeing uh, around about you. If you're following a wiggly line on the road, um, it's quite nice to actually see the hills round about you. Um, not quite so interesting in Kansas, so, um, where you can navigate by grain silos uh, six miles apart as you drive along the road, kind of like lighthouses in the prairie. Um, the contour data uh, comes down in one kilometer, uh, sorry, one degree squares, so it's not a square. Um, and these can vary in size. The biggest I've seen is around about 27 megabytes for one square degree. Uh, when you go to download this, you select Washington State or Oregon or Utah or what have you. Um, and it comes down in one big lump. Uh, again, given the size of what to do before you go. Unfortunately, also, uh, for reasons we haven't determined, the, the contour, some of the contour data is corrupt. Um, so the application will crash when it tries to open up that file. Um, because the application doesn't have an inbuilt means of deleting the contour data, uh, either um, by region or at all, you actually have to kill the application, go back in uh, using an external uh, Android file manager to the directory and uh, try and work out where they stopped and start deleting uh, files uh, around about that area. And of course you throw away a whole lot of stuff uh, until you've um, eventually restarted and it actually goes. So um, you can end up with uh, a nice pretty map with a couple of holes in it, but um, at least the navigation still works. So, actually on the road, we've got the Nexus 7, Mark 1, of course, uh, for the navigation. <laughs> this is uh, downtown Dallas, uh, we're watching the um, storm come through, and on the left hand side, using the 3G data connection we have, we've got the phone displaying uh, the weather data, so we can uh, see where it's heading or coming from and where it's going to navigate around about it and get to the interesting bits. Um, I didn't say we like gadgets. Um, you can see at the bottom we're plugging these into the cigarette lighter sockets so we're actually running these things all day. Um, what we're not seeing in this photograph is the Garmin uh, sitting in the armrest which also had a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket, external antenna on the roof and we just turned it on when we got the hire car and we turned it off when we handed the car back. Uh, so we've got a fraction of over 5,500 miles of traces recorded over 24 days. Uh, so we know exactly where we've been and because the external antenna was on the roof, um, it's a nicely accurate um, uh, high resolution location. A lot of the US has been mapped already, of course, oh, um, it's all been mapped already by the US Geological Survey, and they have a data set called TIGER, topographically integrated geo, someone else. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. Sorry? No, it's not the USGS, it's the census. Is it? Sorry, sorry. Um, unfortunately, the data is, as Donald said, better to have data in and then refine it later. Uh, and this, the same is effectively true here because the type of data is a good starting point. It's not all particularly accurate. And you can look at places that you know and you can see that the streets actually do this even though you actually know they're actually on your route. Um, so and having questions about whether or not can start from scratch is better because that's what's happened in New York and community sure. sure. faster. Yeah. I took the attitude before I was at the Birmingham conference when I heard a comment that people go in and edit the data. I thought, well, it's official US government uh, data, it's been imported, we shouldn't really mess with it. And then I thought, well, it's wrong, so I will. Um, I can do a better job. And uh, in certain places that we do go to regularly, we have actually fixed the data. So actually the street lines are actually you know, right angles and so on. 
Um, but as a starter for 10, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, what else do you want to take? Well, you want to take something to power the laptop uh, for the duration of the trip. Um, um, it's just as well we don't have to take lots of street atlases and road atlases anymore because the luggage uh, allowance gets taken up with toys and gadgetry. Um, we've got a 12 to 110 volt inverter to run multiple laptops. The Garmin, as I said, is running and logging the whole route. I have an amateur radio license, I take a set along and we can tune in to the NOAA National Weather Service um, alerts on around about 163 MHz. So we are uh, monitoring them for tornadoes uh, alerts and, and so on. Um, you will actually, even if you're driving into state at 80 miles an hour in Hailstorm, you will actually hear the tornado siren outside the, um, outside the car. We had uh, such a situation in uh, Oklahoma City where we had to take uh, shelter in a Panda Express. And they did tell us that uh, the, the, the strike, the safe room was the freezer. Um, um, so at least we wouldn't have uh, died of hunger. Um, and really, when you, if you're going um, to do that sort of mileage and you're not afraid of taking it off road, then you know, we want four wheel drive with lots of power sockets. We had four, I think, was that correct? One to run the inverter and, um, and so on. Um, that for it is um, Steens Mountain in southeast Oregon. Um, uh, my trusty navigator and wife and so on. Uh, there, um, and it's about eight mile by 12 mile playa. Uh, perfectly safe for, uh, for driving lessons. Uh, nice scenery. Um, so, thank you very much. Um, happy to take questions or happy to let the next person.